story from the world of social media. This is what I'm liking. So last year, sisters Sarah and Katie lost their mama, who was the rock in their family. While they're both continuing to grieve, they've also found ways to share joy, proving that grief doesn't always look like one thing. Uh, just check out this hilarious this confession video that they recently recorded um, for their late mom. It's hilarious. So our mom died a little over a year ago, and these are some of the things that we'd like to confess to her that have happened since she died. Okay, number one, we didn't know that we had to file your taxes. Nope. <laughs> I didn't know that I needed to get my own insurance. <laughs> Car insurance. <laughs> she drove an unregistered. <laughs> I don't want you to think I didn't cry at your funeral because I didn't care. It's because of me. I was so pregnant that if I cried, I would have thrown up. <laughs> Watch this show on WNYT in Albany. Ladies, oh my God, I could be friends with you. I love you so much. <laughs> Tell us about your mama. She sounds awesome. She Hi. was the best. She was probably like our, I mean, she was our favorite person. We're very biased because she was our mother, but we thought she was the best mom. Um, she was just like so funny and witty and I think she would be laughing right along with us <laughs> and like rolling her eyes at us like girls. What are you doing and why are you such a mess? <laughs> but that's really why I started posting about kind of our grief journey and what we're sharing and going through to connect with others. And we are so overwhelmed in the best way possible by the responses we've gotten and just what support we've seen from the online community. So this is amazing. Uh, it's incredible because it, it, grief is such a, a powerful thing, right? And it can take you down, but it's amazing to connect with people and and be able to laugh and almost still have them be a part of your lives, you know, the ones that have passed. Do you have any new confessions for us? Of course we do. <laughs> Naturally. Um, so this last holiday season, our mom was very big on, like, she made the meals and she loved to cook and she was very, very adamant about keeping it that way. But we decided to, you know, change it up for some reason. And we ordered food from, like, a local market. And I don't know how we got the measurements so incorrect, but it was a dinner party of five, and I think we got enough meat to feed, like, 20 people, but only oh. enough sides for, like, you know, two. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot express to you, like, I've actually done what you just said. Like, oh my God, I'm the same. It's so relatable, like, what y'all are talking about to people, and it's so helpful, because grief is such a hard thing. So thank you for, like, finding the humor in it, because sometimes we just have to laugh instead of just cry all the time, you know? So thank you for that and sharing it. I'm loving your post right now, right? Thank you. Absolutely. And that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, makers of Precise, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, love how you share your heart. So they're going to be writing you a check for $1,000. That's $500 each. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Ladies, we love you. You are hysterical. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining us. And thanks to all our guests this hour, Sarah Gilbert, Arden Marie, 